Along Yorkshire's high cliffs, seabirds are back in huge numbers for the nesting season, and conservationists are on high alert for any sign that bird flu has returned with them. They look to be OK, but that group there would be the ones that I would concentrate on. The virus caused mass mortality last summer, with species such as gannets devastated as it swept through crowded colonies. The RSPB's reserve at Bimpton Cliffs was badly affected. Probably 80% of the chicks in the, these two densest areas died, uh, and we presume that's because one or both of the adults had died. And then there's unanswered questions. Were some birds sick, but then recovering, and, you know, will they come back this year? So this year there's a lot of, uh, you know, worry about what's going to unfold. Until two years ago, the H5N1 virus was mainly a problem in the autumn as migratory ducks, geese and swans spread it to poultry. But a new strain is so infectious that it swept the globe, spread to new wild bird species and is no longer just a seasonal disease. It's mutating too, crossing over to infect mammals, some in the UK. Along the coast, there's been a small number of seals known to have died with the virus, almost certainly as a result of eating infected birds. At this time of year, they too come ashore to have their young. And a virus with the right mutations could spread from mammal to mammal. Government scientists say there's no evidence yet that the virus is spreading between mammals in the UK. But it has happened abroad, and they're carefully monitoring samples from dead animals for anything that might signal a raised risk, perhaps even to humans. What we're tracking is we've seen some changes consistently in the virus that are rarely observed in, in bird populations. So they're likely to signal that the virus is making some adjustment but one adjustment alone will not be enough for that virus to then successfully transmit from one mammal to another. A numbers game is a factor. The more exposures you get, the more risk that these events might spark and trigger something that can then transmit, which is why we're doing the surveillance. The sudden spread of the virus in the UK's seabirds has taken scientists by surprise. They're still unsure of its source. If there is a hidden reservoir, perhaps a species that transmits the virus but remains healthy, then it could become endemic and impossible to control. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Yorkshire.